on it first. Uh, Mayor Tory, to speak. <clears throat> well, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, sadly, uh, over the past uh, year, we've lost three members of Toronto City Council, uh, Pam McConnell, uh, Ron Moser, and former Mayor Rob Ford. And I move this motion uh, to further the process of naming something in our city for each of them. And I realize that there is some debate in some quarters about naming things after people who are holding public office, but I believe in the case of these three people, uh, they all served lengthy periods of time in public office, and so the matter of considering such a possibility um, is entirely proper in these three cases. They serve for very long periods of time. I will address uh, most of my comments uh, this evening to the recommendation in respect of uh, Rob Ford. The proposal to name the stadium at Centennial Park after former Mayor Rob Ford came at the request of the Ford family following an earlier public consultation process in respect of a park, which in fact I think was suggested uh, by, a, by a citizen. As members of council know, uh, Rob Ford was elected as the mayor of this city, uh, died while sitting as an elected member of city council where he served a total of 12 years as a city councillor plus the four years that he served as mayor. In all of my actions as mayor, and I think people would find it difficult to cite examples otherwise, I try to be generous, uh, to put politics to the side and to do what seems right. I think most of us do most of the time. It's often been a challenging course uh, in a big city which by definition contains many different groups of people who have different opinions about what the right thing to do would be. And so I told the Ford family, specifically uh, via Rob's mother, Diane Ford, uh, that I would honor their request, uh, which had been made uh, known to me in a number of different ways, uh, by putting a motion forward uh, to council. Uh, and it really was within that practice of erring on the side of generosity and uh, because of the fact, or at least aided by the fact, that I was clearly uh, in possession of the wishes of the Ford family. I also understand, of course, and it really goes with what I was saying, because I guess the council is a microcosm of the, of the uh, population of the city, and there are going to be differing opinions and perspectives uh, among the public and some members of council. And uh, some of you and some members of the public have asked legitimate questions about the very matter of how things should be named in our city and for whom. Mayor Ford had his supporters, uh, those who felt heard and represented and helped uh, by him. Uh, this includes many kids who played football, who would feel that he helped them and that he heard them, uh, hence the suggestion uh, of the naming of a football stadium in the very community that he represented. But I also recognize the fact we cannot erase history or gloss over very difficult parts of our city's past, and I know that some of the former mayor's actions and comments while in office were hurtful and disrespectful to some and inconsistent with the expectations that go with the office that he held. Everybody as mayor, including me, swears to uphold the integrity of the office, and I understand the responsibility that we have uh, as leaders here, especially us, uh, to ensure that all of our citizens are respected and represented and included at all times. I will say that I believe very strongly that the divisive era of city politics in Toronto is now over and that we are here to represent our residents' interests and their wishes and the best interests, most importantly, of the city as a whole. As I have said publicly, that is why I erred on the side of generosity in bringing this proposal forward because I believe the era of division in the city was over as it should be over. But in the same spirit of trying to minimize division, I'm simply standing in my place, Madam Speaker, to encourage each member of this City Council to vote on this motion based on their own assessment of what they think is right and what they believe their residents would wish them to do. To let the people of Toronto, their representatives and their perspectives guide uh, the decision. I have honoured my own commitment to the foreign family and I've done it in a very genuine way and I, I, I do it in particular with regard to the conversation that I had with Mrs. Diane Ford, Rob's mother, just as I do the same with respect to conversations I've had uh, with people uh, representing the families of Pam McConnell and Ron Moser so that we could put this matter, these matters, uh, for consideration of the Council. I will support uh, all elements of this recommendation, recognizing, as with most, 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 with, with most things here, it's now a decision we all make together, uh, collectively, on behalf of the people that we represent. And, of course, I will respect that decision as you respect all decisions that are made uh, in this chamber. Thank you, Madam Speaker.
Recommendation one does not carry. The vote is 11 to 24.